This is why you don't mess with God. How did this self-proclaimed God, who also played a pivotal role in electing the Benin Republic president, go from being revered and worshipped as God by millions to becoming a disgraced nobody? If you notice, behind the vest of this priest, or pope as you will find out shortly, is the image of Vicentia. The priest walked around with her photo on the cross. This lady mocked God. Yet the Bible makes it clear that God is not to be mocked. Vicentia Tadagbe went by three different names that are attributable to God. She called herself God, Perfect, and God Holy Spirit. You may be wondering how Vicentia Tadagbe went from being a nobody to a well-known self-proclaimed God Holy Spirit, and then to a disgraced nobody. Vicentia blasphemously claimed an immaculate conception, alleging that she was conceived without sin. What's more, she claimed to have fallen from the sky in northern Benin, West Africa, and was picked up in the bush by a shepherd. Interestingly, she had an aunt. This is the first red flag that any Bible reader should notice. Lord, Lord, they say, did, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name cast out demons, and in your name perform many miracles? They talk about these wonders. They, they don't talk about, did we not repent in your name? Did we not obey in your name? Three times in verse 22, in your name, in your name, in your name. You can throw the name of Jesus around all you want. You can sing it 50 times in one song. That's common. That's common. And like the charismatics Jesus must have had in mind in the future, including today, they think the proof that they are His is in their prophecies, their exorcisms, and their miracles. Did they really do them? Of course not. Of course not. You have to debate that? The Lord says, I don't even know you. He doesn't empower people who aren't even in His kingdom to do miracles, to cast out Satan, or, or to reveal His truth through prophecy. These are fake claims, false claims. They sound like modern-day charismatics. We prophesy. We cast out demons. We do miracles. But they have no relationship to God whatsoever. Their eternal destiny, they think, is basically affirmed by these fraudulent signs. Hell is going to be filled with people, sadly, who were involved in this prophesying, exercising demons, and doing miracles. The Bible warned in 1 Timothy 4, verse 1, the last days many people will follow deceiving spirits. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. People who examined this lady's demonic doctrines would have quickly realized she was either a fraud, demon-possessed, mentally disturbed, or all of the above. Things get much more interesting. Vicentia went to a Catholic priest, Matthias Vignan, for an exorcism when she was 20 years old. This is yet another huge red flag. A young lady went to see a Catholic priest because she was possessed by a demon. Long story short, Vicentia, with the assistance of a Catholic priest who eventually became Pope Christopher XVII, founded her own church, the Very Holy Church of Jesus Christ, which was fashioned like the Catholic Church, except that she was God and overseer of the church. Surprisingly, this lady anointed the Catholic priest Matthias as Pope. She quickly gained a tremendous following in the thousands. Her claim to be able to heal the sick, make the lame walk, give sight to the blind, and cast out the devil helped her gain popularity. Is there a pattern here? People who are desperate for miracles are doomed to fall into the hands of Satan and his associates. This is why fake prophets like Shepherd Bushiri and Alf Lukau are so famous and affluent. On this channel, we've covered their stories. If you want to see them raise the dead-ish, Rise up! Ish. Come on! walk in the air, and conjure a tornado from heaven in the form of Shekinah glory, I invite the glory of God in the form of a burning fire. Glory. Click on the link in the description. If you are new to our channel, 
please assist us in spreading biblical truth. To get notified when we upload new videos, subscribe and enable the bell icon. Like, share, and leave a comment. God bless you. There are some very busy folks pushing people onto the broad road. They are the false prophets, dressed in sheep's clothing, inwardly ravenous wolves, who, if you look closely at their lives, will demonstrate their corruption by their corrupt fruit. Few find it. Why is it hard to find? Why is it hard to find a gate? I'll tell you why it's hard to find a gate. Look at the next verse. Beware of what? False prophets. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. And what are they doing? Calling people to the other gate. That's why 120 million out of 500 million charismatics are Roman Catholics with apostate, heretical, corrupt doctrine. 25 million of them are oneness Pentecostals that deny the Trinity. 90% of them believe the prosperity gospel that Jesus wants to make you rich and healthy. The vast majority of these people aren't believers, but that's how the Broadway works. That's the Broadway. And again, the ticket sellers are introduced to you in verses 15 to 20, false prophets. And they're really good at what they do, and they have the kingdom of darkness on their side. How powerful was Vicentia? She was so powerful that when the president of Benin, whom she referred to as her son, paid a visit to the Vatican, which Vicentia claimed she had organized, Pope Francis had a secret conversation regarding Vicentia. As her popularity spread, many Catholic priests and nuns quit and joined the self-proclaimed God the Holy Spirit, also known as the Perfect. Je suis venu assister au 50e anniversaire de notre pape, un événement très très important pour moi. Et voir encore et profiter de cette occasion pour voir mon Dieu. Five members of Vicentia Tadagbe's cultish church died of suffocation in 2013 after being told to lock themselves within sealed rooms filled with burning incense while praying for deliverance. This was only the beginning of Vicentia's demise. The very holy church of Jesus Christ soon became a full-blown cult. They committed vandalism, and priests who spoke out against the terrible treatment were threatened with death. Fast forward to 2021, and the same person who once claimed to be God was now a disgraced nobody. Some said that there were warning signals that she had mental health issues, but no one paid attention. Lastly, it's too much of a burden to claim to be God when you aren't. God cannot be mocked, and He will not share His glory with anybody. This is a powerful lesson for anyone who pretends to be God or who worships anyone who claims to be God. Things rarely go well for such people.